Welcome to Things Explained. Today's lesson is on grammar, understanding the difference between there, there, and there. Let's begin. We are going to lay out a well-exampled understanding on the difference between these three commonly confused words. There, there, and there. Let's start with some sentence examples, and then follow up with some explanations. We are on our way there. We are on our way there. In this example, there, is acting as a noun which denotes a place in a generalized way. Sometimes, this type of, there, is also used as a weak adjective like the word, up. We are on our way there. Next example. The ball is, theirs. The ball is, theirs. In this example, theirs, is a possessive pronoun which indicates that the ball is owned by someone. This type of, theirs, is a gender neutral pronoun. This type of theirs, should never have an apostrophe like how the name Jimmy in Jimmy's ball does to indicate ownership. A good way to remember, is that, theirs, is not a contraction, or a regular type of noun that uses apostrophe s. The ball is, theirs. Next example. They're holding the ball. They're holding the ball. In this example, there, is a contraction, meaning a combination of two words, they, and, are. This shortens the sentence, they are holding the ball, to, they're holding the ball. Contractions always have an apostrophe. Any place where you can use the words, they are, can be shortened to, there. Next example. Is there a way? To do this properly? Is there a way to do this properly? In this example, there acts as an interrogative placeholder, almost like a verb. This sentence questions underlying meaning, is asking if exists a way to do this properly. Is there a way to do this properly? Next example Trees always drop their leaves this time of year. Trees always drop their leaves this time of year. In this example, there, is acting as a possessive adjective, that is attached to the word, leaves, that describes that the leaves come from, or are owned by the main subject noun, tree. Usually this form of, there, comes just before the second noun in a sentence, and it points to that second noun as being owned by the first noun, or first subject in that sentence. Although sometimes, there, can also act as the first object, a gender-neutral generalized pronoun, for lack of a main subject noun. Example. Their voice is really loud. Their voice is really loud. So hopefully you can see that while, there, are three words with similar sounds, they're, more different than they let on to. Each of the words have, there, own purpose in the structure of the English language. Not one can be used in place of another. Thank you for watching Things Explained. I hope that this grammar lesson was useful to you in a quick and comprehensible way. Please consider to share, like or subscribe if this has been useful and what you were looking for. As always, have a great rest of your day and see you next time on Things Explained.